just obviously if I find some TV, I'm joined by Natasha Jonas. How's things? Good, I'm all right. Yeah, have you had uh, what, what sort of, I think you were just obviously talking off camera then, but uh, any sort of potential day coming up, are you in training, what, what sort of your routine at the minute and, and what sort of work are you doing with, with Joe and the gym? Um, I've only just come back to be honest, this is my second session, well my second day back. All right, okay. Um, being, being away, um, but yeah, I've, I've come back and ready, there's a few dates in December, maybe I could jump on possible ones at the very start of next year. You just gotta work with Eddie and see, see what he wants me to do. But you, you're still you're still kind of hungry for the game. You know, you look you look happy, you look relaxed. No, you look in a good place. You know, it's good to be back. To be fair, I, I had um, a break. I've been away um, in Australia for my brother's wedding, so I had a long time off. I was over there for a long time, and you know, you get out of a routine and you, with boxing. I think when you're in the routine, you like you like to moan about it, like everybody does. But then. When you're out of it for so long, you, you kind of miss it. And like, even though today has been horrendous, I'm enjoying being back. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose you know you're in that sort of, you know, from a personal point of view, with your own sort so, so of life in, in terms of you know having you know a child. You're in that sort of position where you know you can potentially get pulled from pillar to post if you haven't kind of got that routine and that goal. You can get distracted by you know what's going on sort of in, in your in your own definitely, life. Definitely, definitely. It's easy to do because sometimes. Um, being a mum, like, it, it kind of takes over boxing, so you've just got to get, get, get things in and prioritise things like an athlete to get, you know, to be the best athlete, mum, social worker, accountant and whatever else yeah, that yeah. you are. Yeah, so. yeah. Now, obviously you've come off, you know, the back of your first professional loss, uh, you know, obviously had some sort of time away, been on holiday and everything else. What, what sort of, um, where was your mindset at kind of on, on the back of that defeat and how have you kind of reflected on that? Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's just, it was one of them things, yeah, I think I just, I didn't do anything that me and Joe had done for the months and months before preparing for that fight. So I was, I was frustrated, I was angry at myself because there's so there's so many things I could have done better and I never. Um, but you know, I've I've gone away and I've you know, it, it is what it is. I, I have to get over it, you know. I've I've bounced back from from worse things. Um I think it hurt me more the the the, the, the style it was in, you know, I got I got knocked down, I got knocked out and st the fight stopped. So that's never happened to me before and we whole hundred and fifty odd amateur ones and you know, it was something that it, it, it got to me, it really did. Um, but I'm here, I'm back, and I'm hungrier now than ever. And I think sometimes with me, when you know things have been at the lowest, I rise up and I get better. Yeah, rather right, sort of thrive and being back to the wall. Yeah, and definitely. Right I off think I was, I was chasing in the shadows of, 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 of people, and I wanted to do better than they did and, and instead of just being Tasha and doing what Tasha does best and you know I've learned from that and I, I won't do that again I'll just go out and be myself all the pressure's off me now you know and I'll just go out and be Tasha. Was that kind of what would, would have affected that performance then in terms of would you, would you put it down to, to kind of pressure or would you just put it down to just a complete off night how were you feeling kind of going into that fight in terms of how it panned out and then cut sort of coming out the back end was, was it, was, is that kind of how you've assessed it as you just feeling sort of the general overall pressure that like you're putting on yourself more than anyone putting on you yeah it wasn't it, obviously there's, there's pressures that people put on you but things like that don't really get to me it's it's like you know i've been the olympics i've been you know big massive tournaments as an amateur so i've got experience in overcoming that kind of them kind of pressures it was the more the pressure that i was putting on, on me on myself and that was bogging me down and even I think on some of me fights in, in Liverpool, I, I've said, you know, it wasn't, obviously you want to perform well in front of your home crowd, but it was the pressure that I was putting on myself to perform that was, it was being detrimental, I suppose, to me, to me performance. Yeah, yeah. Was there ever a kind of a point where after that you're thinking, you know, Pack it in or you know, straight sort of, you know, I wanna I wanna I wanna carry on. <laughs> I think I was crying to Joe in the changing room <laughs> saying that's it, that's it. But you know, I think you're emotional at that time and yeah, yeah. like I said, because of the the style, the loss it was, um I was but I was very upset but now I 
I've got a little bit between the teeth and I've got a point to prove to a lot of people. Yeah, well, you know, you, you're coming across, you know, obviously, you know, very well, you look very relaxed, you look very much in the zone, obviously it's the first couple of days back, but you look, you look in a good place, you know, and a happy fighter is a dangerous fight, and it's nice to, to be relaxed and kind of go into your work and be enjoying it. You know, and you look like you are. No, yeah, I, I, do you know what, I think, I think the, well, the depth of knowledge of the lads and, you know, the experiences that they've all been through, that mm-hmm. uh, Angel have, have pulled me through, and I think yeah. some of the, we've had some great performances since my, um, you know, Callum Smith, Callum Johnson, even though he, he, he got beat, it was still a great performance, you know, and they spare you on, it's, the, it's, it's things like that, and, you know, the words that the lads say, you know, the, in the sessions and the pulling you through and they're, the, they're the, the bits that mean the most and that's what gets you through. Yeah, yeah, no good stuff. And, and obviously you've signed with MTK Global as well, obviously you've done a management deal with them. How kind of is, is that in terms of your next step of your career and your next phase and what sort of role are they looking to play in, in, your, in your career? Yeah, the, 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 the main guy, Mike, who I um, report to for, for, for all my management stuff, you know, he's had a lot of experience with female boxing and a lot. Of, uh, you know, he's had a he's had a world champion, and, and I think I think I kind of we we need that guidance. I mean, I, we, I, I was going in blind where I, I I didn't really know much about women's professional boxing, and whoever was getting put in front of me, I was saying yeah, okay, because we didn't know, you know, styles, we didn't know enough research, and 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 now Mike knows that kind of thing. So I think it's a, a brilliant step for me, and you know. Hopefully we can get that that world title fight on a, on a big bill soon. Yeah, yeah, and obviously you know, there's a lot of talk about you know Katie Taylor. Is that still you know something that you know is, is a goal and, and something that is that a fight that you still you know? Definitely, I don't think that uh, that will ever go away. Um, obviously because it was such a good fight in the Olympics, everyone yeah. does want to see it again. Yeah. You know, there's people obviously after the my last performance are saying, oh, she's not good enough, she's not what, but. I say though, you know, if you're if you're thriving, you know, being the backs against the walls, and I know, you know, there's a lot of fighters, you know, particularly someone who springs to mind in that sense, Tony Bellew, you're know, constantly getting writ off, you know, two David Hay fights, you know, you're not going to win, but again, backs to the wall, it seems to bring the best out of some fighters. Definitely, definitely. So, it must be a disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Sasha Jonas, thanks for talking to Fight Up TV. It's been great speaking to you Cheers, today, and uh, good luck and hope it all goes well. Nice Cheers. one. Cheers. Cheers. Ta. Ta. Sweet.